This week, we head to Arizona to pick up a camper from the Super B RV Show, and I make coffee in the parking lot. We're still on the shakedown trip for the Beast, and so far it's going pretty well. There are a few things in here that we want to change, but the more time we spend in here, the more we're liking it for a temporary camper van. With that said, today we are heading to Glendale, Arizona to go to the Super B RV Show. And we're not going there to look at any RVs, we're actually going there to pick something up. Now don't get all excited, we haven't bought anything yet, but we did get in touch with Leisure Travel Vans and asked if we could take their new Wonder out for a couple weeks. They said yes, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take it at the end of the show, spend a few weeks in it, and see what we think. The reason we decided to do this is because although we have a rule of whatever our next camper is has to fit in a standard parking spot, the Leisure Travel Van is bigger than that. However, it's been something we've actually had our eye on for a long time. A lot of you have suggested we take a look at them, so we are. And we're going to see what we think and see how important our rule to fit in a single parking spot actually is. All right, well, I think it's time for us to get packed up, head to the show, and Dean is going to be giving us a walkthrough of the new Wonder. Very excited about that. Engine sounded a little rough on that startup. It did sound a bit off to me. And we have a service engine soon light on. What does that mean? Oil change? Well, it's not a check engine light, so I'd have to check the thing. Usually that means oil change, but I'll have to look in the manual and see what that says. It seems okay now. Maybe we just need to let it warm up a little bit, but it's definitely feeling its years. Is the light still on? Oh yeah. Okay. Let's not go off. Let me let me check the manual. Okay. Let's see. There is a problem and service is required. There you have it. There we have it. I think it'll make it back to LA before service is beyond required. I'm not sure. melted the adhesive on my curtains. I didn't think that was possible with super glue, but it managed to do it. I'm gonna need to figure out another option. Or we have to stay where it's nice and cool. I think that's the best option. Because without insulation in here and without a serious uh, fan in the roof, this thing is just getting too hot. Ready? Do it. I feel like that's become our new, uh, like, trade, whatever thing you want to call it. Let's do it. Our slogan. Our like catchphrase? Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Sir? Good to see you guys. You're here early. Yes. Well, we were in the area, so nice. we figured you'd come by. Thanks for coming a little earlier. You're welcome. You guys want to do your walkthrough? Do it now? You don't yeah. mind that it's I'm filming, you. do you? No, I don't mind. <laughs> What's that? So this is your table. Oh. So the table locks in place just like this one. Oh, very cool. Do you want to see that? So you, you can just lock it in place. place. Okay. All oh, right Let's there. Make it ourselves. Hold it back up. So store it away. Five hundred pounds in there. Yep. All right. Awning style windows. They open and close. You got the aluminum rims. Got the inner and the outer. Over here we've got our uh, generator. So three point six kilowatt generator. Runs off the main propane tank, so okay. make sure you got propane. So that turns off all the lights. Okay. 
So you should, you know, you can leave that on and then you hit it and it turns them all back on. And then you can control the individual lights if you want them on or off. And if you hold it, it dims, so. See how it's dimming? Solar panel, so that'll be your telling you how much charging we're getting. I think we have 400 watts of solar on there. And this is your Xantrex, your uh, inverter. So if you want to have the inverter on, if you're dry camping, you have to turn it on. Okay. So you have uh, two deep cycle six volt batteries, so about okay. 220 amp hours. So uh, this is your main uh, control center. You can see our fresh water's got a little bit of fresh, black is gray, a little bit of gray, black is empty. Our propane is full. So this controls everything right here. You can set your generator to auto gen start if you want to have it come on and off at certain times or okay. you want to set it for voltage, you can as well. You can also use it for air conditioning. So if you want it to have set the temperature inside the motorhome, mm -hmm. it will come on, start up the generator, turn on the air conditioner. Oh, cool. So you can set it up however you want with the, uh, with the generator. And about how long will the generator run on a full uh, You'd probably get 35 straight hours running the air conditioner alone, yeah. Okay. So you should uh, you should be fine for how long you guys using it for? Two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. You probably may have to fill up the propane tank once. So you got a Blu-ray player, and then your switcher box if you want to watch front TV or back TV. When you leave it on A for auto, it's automatically going to switch for, to 110 power the minute that it finds it. Okay. If you leave it on propane, then it will uh, run off the propane tank. And this blocks off into a private bedroom area back here. So. All done there. Over here, we've got our uh, bathroom connections here for flushing the tank. So mm -hmm. uh, hold the button, press the button down, and then it'll, it'll shoot, chirp, churns it all up, and then shoots it into the black tank. Okay. So pretty simple. Both can, you know, you can, there's two different types of uh, flushes. So you can, uh, one's obviously longer than the other one. So <laughs> for cleaning. Fans. So, yeah, we got two fans here. These are all rain sensor fans. So you can set the temperature on them. Turn them on, and they will fire up, and they'll automatically close, you know, if it starts to rain. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a very unique floor plan, so, you know, that's where you hang all your clothes, storage areas, so, cool. yeah. And then on this side as well, it's very cool. So, how do you bring that back down? So you go all the way up. Ah, I really like that clothes. That you can hang your clothes down. I know, there. it's very cool. Because yeah. you, you notice how big it feels back here. It's hard mm -hmm. to believe we're in a non slide. So, lots of storage area. And you have the lights built in underneath, and you can control those lights right here. Okay. Privacy shades, USB plugs, inverted plugs as well, and mm -hmm. USB plugs. So, if you are uh, have a sleep apnea machine, or you want to work, you know, plug in your computer or charge or cameras mm -hmm. or whatever you want to do. Great. This comes across right here. And then we just pull the mattresses together. Date ah, night. Date, date night. night. There you go. Yep, so then you're all one big mattress for dinner. You can also move it front to back. Okay. So there's only one table. So you either have it in the front or the back. If that makes some sense to you. And there's a lock here mm -hmm. and a lock here. So only one seat turns and swivels. Okay. So you gotta bring it kinda like where I am here. Then you reach over and pull this and it slides like it did there. Yep. And then that turns it. Perfect. Are you excited? I am stoked. Can't wait. Well, it was a great walkthrough by Dean. Thank you very much. And in a day or two, we're gonna be taking this for a couple weeks to put it through its paces and see what we think. Can't wait to take delivery. Nope. Back to the beast. <laughs> that was a fun show. I thought you weren't saying anything. Well, you know, sometimes I like to say stuff even when I'm not supposed to. <laughs> That's the fun of making these videos, is we can just do whatever we want, right? Sure. Okay. Joe has decided to make coffee in the parking lot outside the Super B show. It's like we're tailgating. I've learned to never get between this man and his coffee. That is a good rule to live by. Well, I've got a hot cup of coffee in my hand, so that means this video is coming to an end. I want to thank all of you for watching, and the next time you see us, we'll be in a Leisure Travel Vans Wonder. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to see more cool content, head on over to our website at wertherussos.com. See you next time, guys. Bye.